I think in this adolescent stage, not yourselves, but I think in the timeline of GameFi and this Web3 gaming, we saw that first generation, that wave that you guys yeah. probably saw with Axie Infinity and all these sure. kind of games launching and then essentially kind of falling flat because they they really pushed, in my opinion, this play to earn mechanic that like fueled hype, but then didn't lead to any sustainability. So yeah. how do you guys see the GameFi space as it exists today? You're 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 joining this this you know, you're jumping into Web3, which I think is already kind of uh you mentioned risk taking like that's already a risk we we already yeah. see gamers that push back against nfts against web3 but just kind of where you see the game five space today and, and your place in it is is i think a hopefully a, one that you guys can hit yeah sure i mean well one thing coming out of you know we went on a couple of these expos and one in particular was in new york uh nft nyc and so many people were playing our alpha version of our game and they're saying this is as good as any web2 game and something really kind of clicked where we said yeah let's get this out to as many people as possible yeah. so right now there are only i don't know 40 800 holders of our hooligans and so we're looking at this and we we know we have to be very loyal to our og holders we want to do right by them and make sure that they have a lot of value that's increasing with their nft for sure but we also said there's got to be a way to onboard as many people as possible so i kind of jokingly i think said to the team how do we get a million people playing this game well we're already um uh, on Epic Online Services. We have a great relationship with Epic. And so we said, we gotta get this on the Epic Marketplace. We have to have a free to play model. And then some of our other partners were saying, yeah, you gotta get this on the Android. You gotta get this on a mobile device. And so we said, oh yeah, we gotta get a version of this that works on mobile. And so we said, you know, let's make, let's make this the best web two game and app out there but then also have the benefits of Web3 for anyone who wants it. Or people that will get benefits of Web3 and not even know that they're in a Web3 ecosystem, not even know they're playing as an NFT. So we said, what are, what are, the, what are the thresholds for playing this thing? Well, usually the NFTs are very expensive. The wallets are very complicated. And, uh, and, and there's also a lot of inflation that happens. If there's yeah. places to, to, to earn carrots but not spend carrots, you have a lot of inflation so we said let's make this a fun game first and get as many people as possible we also have the ability to make so many different combinations of these things and so many original uh unique one of ones so i think that's what we're leaning into really hard it's just it's just lean into the web 2 space and um and web 3 is going to come just kind of as an artifact someone may all of a sudden play the game long enough earn their way into entering the rabbit hole they may qualify yeah. they may have to press a verify button of some kind and they will be minting an nft and not even knowing it yeah and you know i mean let's let's face it there's there's a lot that we could and that we are learning from you know phase one or the first kind of wave that came through in in the web3 gaming right now and like I think right now, um, you know, we, we've been fortunate enough to partner with Delphi and YGG and Bitcraft and, you know, a lot of these these folks who've been involved in, in building some of these big games that have had, you know, really big rises and some, you know, little missteps here and there. But um, it's all about just like, you know, in a new space, you want to be, you know, painfully aware of what's going on and learn from projects that come before you. We're going to keep making, we will make mistakes. We will make you know, we'll have strides, we'll have, you know, our, our wins, but, you know, we want to just, just be able to, to learn from things that have been already done and really try to like weave that in because web three, there's a, there's amazing things that come along with, with blockchain tech and, and the web three space, but at the, at the core of it, at the simplest, you know, version, you got to make a fun game. You got to make it sticky. You got to make it great. That is a simple thing to say, a hard thing to do. And, you know, we're fortunate enough to have a, a really talented team that's, you know, they're they're excited to to, to continue to create that that shows in the product that's being put out there. I I agree wholeheartedly. I jumped into the game. I was able to buy one of your guys' NFTs. I accidentally bought three because I was sending one to my buddy, but then OpenSea. <laughs> no so I'm right. a big holder now. <laughs> but, Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I got you guys. Yo, it's Nifty Q. I hope you enjoyed that short clip from my interview. Each week, I'm sitting down with some of the best founders in the industry to help you on your journey in NFTs and Web3. All the links to the podcast are in the description. Hope to see you there.